you want to reverse the action. So you can see how you get this effect. I may want to do just exactly the opposite. And I'll tell you why. Because when this is all said and done, I'm going to be looking at the right side of his face. But according to my according to my uh, my storyboard if you look at my storyboard here I should end up on the left side of his face and now that's important because you look over here and you're still at that left side angle so I'm going to reverse my camera motion and I'm going to reverse my head spin motion okay so how can I do that quickly alright let's get him back to where I was um, let's go back to the camera Okay, let's. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this first keyframe over here, and I'm going to move it to frame 51. Okay, or or just a little bit past the original, and then I'm going to take that free keyframe and I'm going to move it over to here. Okay, and so now what I've effectively done is I've reversed them. Whereas before I was going counterclockwise or clockwise from the top. before I was going like that now as my keyframe as my timeline projects I'm going like this and now my pose my characters pose I'm going to reverse it so I'm going to select every frame and I'm going to start off at the exact opposite now that's easy I'm going to press copy control C which would be the same as pressing this button control C and now I'm going to paste it but I'm going to paste it reversed bam okay and now look he is in the exact opposite position. Now I may need to re reposition the camera. Let's take a look here. Yep, I'm going to have to reposition the camera a little bit. Get somewhere like there maybe. Now let's see. Okay, now notice how I made a keyframe that I didn't want to make, so I've got to merge those two. I'm just pressing the G key down there. Okay, and now notice how as I whip around boom when I combine that with his with the monster with with this guy's rotation and so his final position let's go to the 50 frames forward and let's get him into his final position well first off let's make sure he's in his original position so I'm gonna go to frame number one and I'm gonna insert his position for all of those bones I'm gonna go to frame 50 or thereabout I guess for 50 let's just go there and now boom he rotates around okay and he's gonna get ready he's gonna be getting ready to bring that gun back because if you look real closely you can see how I have like a Gatling gun kind of thing going on here alright so that's that's how and so now he's looking forward now notice I didn't spend a humongous amount of time on this pose because really all I'm, I really want to see is just his face alright so how's my camera doing did I insert all my keyframes I did okay so now you can see if I go back to my ortho movement you can see how he brings his face up forward BAM okay at the same time if I go to my camera now notice how he's off camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to refine this last camera position to exactly where I want it something like that Bam! Okay. So now you mix. Now notice how we get some kind of mix right here. Okay. So now we've got our. What we've done is this is this is how key, how how pose to pose animation works. You start off with your main pose at the beginning. You start off with your main pose at the end. You get them just exactly how you want them. And then you look at the transition. And what a really good way to go is to kind of look at his transition now if he were to move typically the face leads in a rotation like if you were to turn your body the first thing you're gonna do is turn your head look where you're going and then you're gonna turn your body so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here 
to about half 20 frames in and I'm going to turn his head to lead the motion to lead the rope to lead the uh, to lead his his action okay so you can see the first thing he does is he turns his face and then he sees where he's going okay shoom shoom okay and now if I were to really get excited about it I might even I mean his whole actual like his chest would even lead it okay and now I don't like the way notice how at this frame I pose I'm gonna unpose I'm gonna delete the keyframe on those on his face there see what I did was I started off I made some keys for his face so that they would lead the action and then I reposed them again at this frame well I'm going to just delete those frames for his head and his neck at at this point in fact because I kinda like this pose right here how he led it with his uh, with his chest too and so I'm just gonna get rid of these and now one nice thing is if you press this button down here select that limits this notice if I don't have it then now I've got to deal with all of this bad all of this guy's bones and in fact I have to deal with the animation of anything that's animated in the scene even the camera so if I select that now only bones that are selected do I have to deal with and so I just want to delete the frames that are associated with that with his head and at that position so I'm gonna go there I'm gonna click the X key and now he still leads it bam just he leads it with his chest too bam and now maybe I can tweak it just a little bit okay he leads it alright that's not a bad action I'm not displeased with that one bit okay now let's look at what happens to the camera I press the zero key and now sometimes going off camera is not a bad thing because in real life you're not going to be able to perfectly pose your camera so you have to ask yourself I don't know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn down on this passport so the camera motion stuff and then the pass I don't know what that means exactly but anyway what it does is it blacks out everything except for what's in the camera view and now I'm just gonna play this thing in real time so I'm gonna press the end key so now oops okay there is my animation okay and now notice how I've got it set to start at 1 and end at 59 and now I'm gonna click the play key and I am running at pretty much real time so is it a is it a well timed yep it's not badly timed now I I, I could tweak the timing a little bit I would rather have it fast here and then kinda of settle off more slowly so I wonder if I were to just do this let's see how that looks yeah I like that a lot better so all I did was I took the camera and have the camera fall into position before the rest of the body does that actually it works pretty well I like it okay and now I don't mind the fact that it goes off camera kinda adds a little bit of, of flavor to this to the action shot okay I'm gonna stick with that alright that's the end of my first tutorial I have just blocked out pose to pose my first shot of my little uh, sequence that I'm gonna go through here I hope you enjoyed it like I said I won't be putting this guy on blend swap for a while because I'm working on a scene which is supposed to be pretty epic and I want all of you guys to watch it and so I'm gonna tempt you and I'm gonna taunt you with my little with my little character here and, and I'm gonna make you sober at the teeth and say oh I wish I had that so bad anyway DX3 studios on Facebook uh, or even if you wanted to become my friend I'd probably accept you Darren DeVoe uh, check out all my videos on YouTube, DX3 1979. Take care.